Hi, it's Jess here from nigessa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. And I'm uh, working on my junk journal um, today. And what I thought might be quite uh, interesting for people to watch is actually filling it. Um, I've been on, I'm in quite a few junk journal um, groups now. I've been getting quite a lot of help and advice from them. And lots of people saying they look beautiful, but what do you do with them? Well, I made this with the intention of um, documenting 2020 um, so I thought I might show you um, the process of me putting things in here um, so I've uh, got together um, photos I've been taking photos or I take photos all the time so it's not just this year and so I've um, I use um, sort of free photo printing services so I've been going through and I've got like things that I've done at the beginning of this year this is right up to basically lockdown so this is like the first three months um, up till middle of March um, the next one is me I went to um, on holiday um, in the middle of March came back we went in lockdown I actually went on lockdown on holiday so I got these out and then um, I don't really like my handwriting so um, I then um, went on my uh, laptop and I sort of looked at the pictures and sort of wrote a few things down um, about it I used a, an old I think this is American typewriter uh, font which I thought was quite nice and then I've sort of um, ripped them out and sort of distressed them and, and my idea is I'm going to stick those um, onto onto the pages and then where I've got sort of things like this I'll probably handwrite on these because those are the things that are not actually going to be much seen so if people sort of flicked through this um, they wouldn't necessarily see my ugly writing um, and, and they would just see things like this stuck on the page which would look quite nice and the photos so that's my idea so I thought I would just show you how I um, did this to these and then um, and then I'll sort of start putting it together so so I'm using my ripping ruler to just uh, rip out uh, the sections that um, that I typed up and um, so I did actually manage to rip a little bit extra off but I just thought that would give it a little bit character um, when I'm uh, putting it together so I uh, just getting them all roughed up around the edges and then I will bring in my inks to to ink them up so just getting a bit of uh, plastic out that's from uh, inside of a cereal box um, so use ink crumb cake there just to uh, give it a bit of age um, and, uh, and then I will get my sponge dauber and go round the edges in early espresso just to sharpen them up and let them show up. Um, and um, So just doing all of those, including the bit that then is going to get stuck in. Quite like that look, thought it would look good. And I also ripped the beginning of that one off as well. So um so yeah and i am going to go around with the little splatter which I quite like it kind of makes me think of um the look of a sort of coffee dyeing so adding adding some ink there as well just to give it some extra uh age distressing um look about it and um and then uh, the other thing you could do was just do the entire sheet, which would be a little bit quicker and a little bit easier um, if you did the whole sheet instead of the individual um, ones, uh, which is actually how I think I did it in the first place. And then you can use the bigger splatter instead of having to use the, the littler splatter um, on it. And then then it's a matter of doing all the ripping and then once the, the ripping's done, 
uh, to go around again with the the sponge dauber. So now I'm just looking through the the photos and I'm just picking out the ones that are going to be uh, in the the first um, sort of pages. I'm, I'm ignoring the first page because I like it uh, as it is and wanted to keep it quite simple. So these are memories from basically New Year, some uh, little walks we went on and sort of presents that they came uh, with. Um, and I just decided to fussy cut um, around the uh, the sort of the basket, the hamper we got there and deciding where where to put it. And um, I'm looking at my lovely Anik gin bottle. Uh, the bottle's beautiful, the gin is lovely, and uh, and that was a, a, a most welcome gift as well. And I thought it would fit nicely on that bit of card. Uh, so um, that's what I decided to do. I'm kind of fiddling, thinking, where do I want to put these other things? Um, and I quite like the fact that that's got a map page on, and we went for a walk. Um, so now I'm looking at the front here, and it's just going to just have the sort of the introduction to... Uh, January 2020 and so I thought I could um, put one of those sort of like book plate things in and uh, sort of make that match and I, I wanted to keep it pretty um, pretty plain because I liked the the stamping on the page and I wanted to keep that so um, I'm looking here for some um, just some coffee dyed paper that I could uh, punch out some circles because they go quite nice in the book plate and I thought I'll just punch a few extras so I've got them and then I need to just distress that a little bit with some some more inking um, so I'm just looking for my sponge dauber and um, just uh, get some ink and uh, ink round the edges there ready for um, for sticking that together with the with the January 2020 on it which I think would look nice so um, just putting some other distressing on there and I, I do like that look so we'll just uh, glue all that together and get that stuck in place and uh, it'll sort of match up with the one on the other side and uh, that's quite a theme I've used that quite often um, that uh, it's made from a, a stamping up punch and um, matching stamp set which I retired now and um, it had gone on my to sell list and then uh, and then I started doing this and thought oh actually no that's a keeper so and I just added a butterfly as well to match with the other page and uh, and then I was once I put that in I thought oh it needs a little something else uh, on the other side and I was trying to decide what I could put in so looking in my stash there's an envelope that I'd previously made which I thought I could put some memories on there and stick it in but I felt that needs to be a pocket so I need to uh, strengthen that to turn it into a pocket so I found some uh, book pa paper um, that's a dictionary page and it's two sheets stuck together so it's a bit stronger so just drawing around with a pencil uh, so I can then um, cut around it. I got to the middle there and realised I couldn't actually see the lines very well. So um, just got to mark where I need to cut again and get them cut out. And then I will be applying glue to the doily where there's large bits of, of, of paper. Um, and uh, And then I can glue that book page then to it nice way to form a pocket I've done it in the album in other places as well so um, and then I'm just seeing which bits I can apply glue to so I'm doing about half an inch worth at each side so that it's sort of it is well and it's quite nice and strong and then that can go in there and I just think that finishes it off really quite nicely so now let's turn to uh, getting these photos put in and sort of deciding exactly what I want to do. So I've decided I need to trim down um, this picture a bit. Decided I wanted a bit of space. And then I started thinking, actually, it'd be quite nice if it folded out. 
So I'm getting my washi tape there, deciding which washi tape I like, and um, just putting a strip of um, it down the side. Um, I've done this in sort of like smash journals, smash books, um, and uh, it's actually quite a good way of uh, adding adding photos, but then sort of giving you space to to write still. So I've still got that 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 journaling card there as a as a card, um, and uh, sort of needing to trim that. There was a a mark on the photo which I didn't quite like so I thought I'd get rid of that um, and then I'm just fiddling deciding to fussy cut that um, that gate wonderful magnificent gate that um, was taken down last year to restore and they just put it up right at the end of um, 2019 um, and uh, they've slowly been doing things to the park to restore all the sort of Victorian features um, in the park, which uh, which is which is lovely. Uh, so um, we are uh, been enjoying watching it change over time. I've took quite a few photos um, of it, and um, it's uh, it's been nice to see it um, turning into its sort of former glory. Um, so now I'm sort of working out what do I want to do? Do I want another one of those in? Yeah, I think that works well. Um, so just need to sort of think about what I want to write and uh, what I want to put in. So I'm deciding, oh, I want to do a bit more fussy cutting. I quite like that sort of look of fussy cutting bits of photos rather than have sort of straight edges. I do have like some straight edges but I do like um sort of cutting it in that way using it in this sort of journal it sort of reminds me of sort of like the way I put things in a smash book um so and I quite like that way of scrapbooking and recording memories so um now I'm remembering that I'm one of my stamp sets that I wanted to to use and I wanted to uh find one that had like um a, a, a little treat but I couldn't find the stamp set so uh, I found an alternative one that uh, I could use instead and uh, I'm going to do party time uh, so it's it's all in a it's not linear it's in a straight line so I'm just uh, going to stamp the party and then the time um, separately at the uh, at the bottom, uh, but I need to thoroughly clean off where I'd inked the party to make sure that it doesn't come off. So there we are. That's, uh, I think, an appropriate uh, title for that page because uh, uh, we are getting ready for our sort of New Year celebration um, together. And um, I quite like the look of uh, drawing around um, the photograph, sort of make it sort of pop. Uh, a, a little bit so I quite like that look and um, I've got some uh, calligraphy pens there that um, that I bought on my trip last summer um, I think I got that from Hobby Lobby probably uh, when I was over in the States uh, so just uh, gonna do a little bit of handwriting on the page um, I quite like um, a little bit of handwriting, um, not too much, and then I like to put a little bit of a of a bubble around uh, what I've what I've written, so it sort of stands out a little bit. Um, and then I'm not sure what I'm doing now. <laughs> I just um, obviously took a long time to do what I'm doing now. Um, so now, yeah, we're gonna think about uh, writing on some of those things that needs a little bit of distressing there that uh, and then I'm distressing on the desk which was daft um, but uh, yeah so now I'm going to think about where what I want to do with these pictures so I think we're going to do them in that way it was a walk it's a map 
figured that worked really well. So gluing that down and then do the same with that one. And I've got the journaling to go with it. So just sort of checking out if they would fit okay there. So sticking those down. And the uh, the gate's gone in on the sort of the right angle, even though it was the photo taken at an angle. And that's that little bit that's sort of ripped off and that's sort of fitting in there quite nicely. And, uh, and then I had some journaling to go with... Um, with the... Um, yeah, with those, those photos. I actually had already typed more or less what I'd written but um, it don't matter and, uh, and I, again I'm just sort of drawing around that to help it stand out so quite like doing it this way I think it adds it adds to it and on this one I decided to do a little bit different give it in a, a bigger frame um, to go round it and then once I'd finished I just actually decide that the photo did actually need a solid line round it as well so we're just finishing that off and then stick that back on and I have got the bit of of what happened there so looking at where I'm going to put some of those bits of typing that I had done so it is just a lot of sort of seeing what you've got thinking about it so I have finished the first bit um, of my journal and I did me my little writing in here just some little memories um, that I had so those are ones that I don't necessarily want to be obviously displayed if somebody was to flip through and um, I've added some little journaling on the tags here and on these two as well in those little tuck spots I've done a little bit of journaling in there and then I'd, I cut up what I'd um, written before um, to stick on here I have written some things on the back there and on the back of my tag there and I added some photos these are actually from Christmas Day um, so not quite 22 and that was uh, 2020 rather that was just a little memory to go with that So a nice picture of the boys reminding me of how much I like to decorate the table there and the lounge. And that's that's the first bit done. So that's sort of finishing off sort of a bit of Christmas and New Year. And then we'll get into some proper 2020 sort of memories. So I hope you liked sort of that and sort of like seeing what they might look like with sort of pictures and, and memories and things. Um, I mean, I do have things like tickets and, and that, but didn't actually have any from this time because we didn't actually go anywhere. Um, but I might add like one of my Christmas tags in here just to remind us of... Um, of that that might be quite nice for Christmas tags I've got them still so yeah I'll put some close-up photos on my blog um, 
and yeah and let me know if you like to see me carrying on filling um, my journal oh I might need to stick that down a bit more um, yeah so let me know see what you think um, if you're uh, new then I have got a my first junk journal where I have um, tutorials on how I created all of these uh, pages and ephemera uh, so you might want to check that out and um, and see okay bye for now don't forget to like and subscribe